Aww, Aww, geek, geek out. out! Pinky's up. Time for another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. This week we're going to be talking about uh, Glitter Bomb, the fame game, the uh, newest volume in, in Jim Zub and Jabril Morissette Funds, uh, Glitter Bomb horror uh, saga, kind of exploring the dark underbelly of Los Angeles and the, the price of fame and with bloody, bloody results. Uh, though this is, again, this is a completely new volume, completely mm-hmm. new, not just a new arc, it's a straight up new number one. Um, it still takes place in the same world as as that first volume, but uh, but no, it's it's very accessible. Jake, yeah, I I think you can. That's, that was going to be my question. I was like, do you th- do you think you can just jump into it? I mean, I think you can. Yeah, it certainly enriches the experience more if sure. you read the first volume, and maybe it'll you know cause people to go back and pick up that first volume, which is worth checking out. Oh yeah, it's great. I mean, it's the darkest thing yeah. that Jim Zub's <laughs> yeah. ever done. <laughs> I mean. And this and this keeps that going, uh, you know, pretty, oh, pretty it's big time, pretty hardcore, you know, and dealing with, you know, kind of the, you know, because I was thinking about that, you know, because school started up again recently. I as a teacher, I yeah, yes. and <laughs> and but I mean, like we've been out of like that kind of in the trenches of school thing for like a while. Mm. You know, in terms of like high school and Not like how, much, if there's anyone that can be cruel, that's what I'm the, saying, like yeah. vicious. Yeah, because the first arc was like agents and like movie stars, and they can be very, you know, self-serving and sure. vicious too. But if there's anyone that's just straight up like no holds barred, it's teenagers. And this shows too, like we didn't really li- go to school, like um, again, just high school is what I'm really referring to in the age of like social media. Like now, that must be a fucking nightmare. You know what I mean? <laughs> Instagram and everything. Oh my god, that must be a, just a total nightmare. Yeah, so it really kind of explores that fallout from the first arc. But again, it's pretty accessible. Yes. No, I, I think so. I mean, but you will. I I I would hope someone who might just pick this up, um, not knowing about volume one, will read this and be like, oh, I want to know about because you know they do reference things that happened in that first volume. Yeah. Um. You know, that's kind of it's spinning out of that, and so hopefully that'll get people to pick it up. Because what cause, do you think of the art? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I mean, just just again, I mean, and and it it's that fine line of like, there's that uh, interview in the beginning that they have, and just the kind of um, confusion and the shock, and how again, it's just it's it's showing kind of just the the horror on multiple levels, but then you get like the physical violence too, which I won't go into too much, but it's that's pretty there. horrific. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty but horrific. It's yeah, it, it it's all it all it's all good, man. Yeah, man. So this first issue, uh, Glitter Bomb, the Fame Game, is out in comic book stores everywhere on Wednesday, September twentieth. The first volume you can get, you know, collected in also in comic book stores everywhere on Comicsology if you want to get it digitally. Uh, you know, definitely check it out. It gets our seal of approval, and mm-hmm. you know, watch this air space because we have an interview with Jim. Yeah, we like Jim. We do. He pulls the he pulls the hat trick, and he comes on for a third time to talk about this and about his other Image Comics work too. Mm-hmm. So this has been another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. Keep reading. This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.